Should we doubt everything? Now, if you asked me that question a year ago, I would have said absolutely yes, we ought to doubt everything. However, now I think that the answer is no, we ought not to doubt everything. Or that not everything is doubtable. The question ought to be phrased, can we doubt everything? And I think the answer to that is absolutely not. We cannot doubt everything. It is simply un impossible. So, what is doubt based on? I think, or why do we doubt things? I think what we generally doubt are things that are unproven, or you could call them assumptions. I think there are essentially two kinds of assumptions. First, we have assumptions that can that we can doubt. There are certain assumptions that can be untrue, or that we can imagine them not being true. Like, for instance, whether or not Christ rose from the dead. I think that is a doubtable assumption, or a doubtable idea. On the other hand, I think that there are some kinds of assumptions that cannot be doubted. We'll be getting to those a little later. But first, so these kinds of assumptions that are doubtable. I think that we ought to doubt everything that we can doubt. I think that we ought to doubt our assumptions about what we believe and what we think is true. These are the things that we ought to reconsider, that we ought to question until we understand them or until we come to a point where we have enough understanding in order to move on. These kinds of assumptions, assumptions re like religious assumptions or assumptions about facts even or what justice is, those kinds of things, I think that we ought to doubt those things. However, there are another kind of assumptions, or what my new favorite 18th century common sense philosopher Thomas Reed calls first principles, that we cannot possibly imagine not being true. Well, when we try to imagine them, our brain just goes crazy and just can't function. Like the assumption that logic works, or that logic is the correct way of viewing the world. I don't think it is possible for us to imagine, for us to reasonably imagine that not being true. We can pretend to imagine if we want, but we can't really live like we don't believe in logic. As Charles Peirce said, let us not pretend to doubt in philosophy what we do not doubt in our hearts. And I agree with him. I don't think that it is even possible for us to doubt the things that we, we, we cannot really doubt in philosophy what we do not doubt in our hearts. Take for one of those things is that logic makes sense. Another one of those things is that our senses are reasonably reasonably reliable, that our senses, we can believe them. Now, a philosopher can talk all he wants about our senses being unreliable, and we have no basis for believing them, but when someone puts a gun to his head, he's gonna duck. Philosophers can pretend to doubt certain things, but in reality, there are some things that are undoubtable. In these things that are undoubtable, I think that we ought not to pretend to doubt them. So should we doubt everything? My answer is no, we should not doubt everything. Because when we begin to doubt first principles, or begin to doubt these things that are essential to living and thinking, then there's really no way to have any kind of worthwhile discussion, or any kind of worthwhile progress in understanding the world. When we try, when we work against our own minds and try to doubt the things that our minds cannot help take for granted, then we get absolutely nowhere. Or what my new pair Or what my new Or what my new Or what my new favorite 18th century common sense philosopher calls first principles.